Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. We have been on here for a little over a week now, so we are ready to give you guys our Carnival of Venezia Terrazza Cabana review, and we'll discuss if it's worth it. <laughs> yeah, we'll discuss if it's worth upgrading from the balcony, which usually that is what we sail mm -hmm. in. This is our first time in something like the Terrazza, so it's been a real good experience yeah. so far let's let's jump in right away though to what the benefits are okay of the terrazzo cabana and the first one that everyone's been asking about is the sea day brunch mm -hmm. so the sea day brunch they um schedule in the fahrenheit 555 uh steakhouse so it's in there and they have a special menu just for the terrazzo cabana um guests and you they they called us and scheduled it you could also schedule it at the uh, sail away party that they do um, but just make sure that you schedule it talk to somebody even your room attendant if no one has contacted you because you do not want to miss it <laughs> no you don't it is a lot more than what we were thinking it was mm -hmm. going to be we thought it was going to be like a little buffet thing mm -mm. with some scrambled eggs it is like eating in a specialty restaurant <laughs> like one of those types of meals so you know you value that at about Mm -hmm. 45 to 50 dollars mm -hmm. they, they charge for that it was really good yes because one of the things that we got off the menu is the steak and eggs well it wasn't just any old steak it was a filet and it was perfection it's a big one too. <laughs> so it was definitely it would definitely be worth uh you know and paying an up charge so that's a great thing to have included right yeah they also included drinks uh aperol spritz or a mimosa mm -hmm. uh, they had a starter mm -hmm. which i ended up getting the calzone what'd you get i got the avocado toast and it was mwah, so good <laughs> and then for dessert i got the beignets from emeralds Yes, and I got the haystack, and it was so good also. Everything was so good. The only problem was it was too much food. <laughs> it was way too much food. For a food. brunch, yeah. we ate at our, we, we had our scheduled at 1130, which is the very first one you can schedule. So it's 1130. They do it every 30 minutes scheduling, so they can kind of stagger the people so not everybody rushes in there at once. But um, we got in there, and oh my gosh, we, I'm glad we didn't eat anything before we went in there because Ooh. we wouldn't have been able to eat. I We had no idea, like you said earlier, no idea it was going to be so hearty <laughs> yeah so it was a great meal totally uh, one of the best brunches we've ever had <laughs> one thing to note about it though in the literature for the rooms it does kind of say that you'll have brunch in there on select c days it is actually should say select c day <laughs> because it is just once so <laughs> that's a little that was a little disappointing for us we thought it might be especially because this is a 15 mm -hmm. day sailing maybe we would do it twice but we only did it once and we did ask to confirm that it was only once and she said yes it's only one but not to be missed so it, it was fabulous <laughs> yes uh next thing you're gonna get is branded mm, terrazza cabana towels and robes so this is the robe look at how pretty that is that's a really pretty you have these in your room you get two hanging in your room when you get here if you need more you can always ask your room attendant and then you have the terrazza cabana carnival branded towels and these they also have available out on the back deck as well which we'll talk about more in just a moment but you can get these towels back there or you can always exchange them um, have your room attendant exchange them also next item up on the list is the Continella breakfast which is in the uh, terrazza carnival lounge which is right outside the door here <laughs> so on port days that only goes till 9 a.m but on sea days it goes till 10 a.m so that's pretty good which is real nice because we never made a 9 a.m <laughs> Not once. <laughs> Even with the time change in our favor, we still didn't make it. But we've made it to a couple of the 10 a.m. ones. What did you think about the continental breakfast? Mm, it wasn't my favorite just because I like to have eggs and sausage and all that stuff. So I ended up skipping it most days. I know you liked it. Yeah, I did because I didn't. They have cereal, um, toast, some pastries, 
fruit and then they have like a granola mix that you can have with yogurt that they have available and then they have juices and coffee and things like that and then they do have a half of the the carnival lounge is blocked off for just the terrazza guests so you guys eat back there and enjoy um, and then you'll see like other people in the front part of the, the area if they're just hanging out there relaxing. Another benefit to having the terrazza <clears throat> is the private deck area in the back with hot tubs. There are two hot tubs. They are pretty big and they are really nice. A lot of people are asking if they're cold, if they're warm. They're warm. Mm. They're warm <laughs> enough. Um, they're not so hot that you have to get out after five minutes. You can stay in there 15 minutes pretty easily. Mm -hmm. um, but you wouldn't want to stay in for like more than a half hour mm -hmm. because it gets pretty warm. I think that the issue with this area, and this is kind of the big issue with the whole experience, is that they did not do a good job of keeping that area private. Mm -hmm. So one of the issues on the Carnival Venezia overall is that there is very little pool and hot tub space, and they are mostly uh, taken up by kids because they're so small. So what we've noticed throughout the week is a lot of adults that are not in this area just wandering back and using the the terrazza area and they do have uh, wristbands you're supposed to wear which look like this and they don't check them at all there's a little <laughs> sign that says wristbands required beyond this point but that's all there is so and additionally they also have doors on both sides where your balconies are they're supposed to be locked and for the first three or four days they were just wide open they didn't even lock so the first three or four days mm -hmm. we noticed every day with those tons of people just walking <laughs> up and down past the room <laughs> and we were like what's going on i think a lot of people kind of complain about that they did get those locks working mm -hmm. but then it's up to whether people actually shut the door mm -hmm. and people are still kind of coming in but that's kind of quieted down we don't really see many people mm -hmm. walking in front of the room anymore it's mostly people walking through the bar now and pretty much every time we've gone back there there's been people in the hot tubs that are not part of this area. Mm -hmm. So that just kind of crowds it up and kind of cramps mm -hmm. the experience and makes what you've paid for not as valuable. Right, yeah. It. I feel like in maybe like the Mardi Gras or some of the other ships where they've had areas like this, they've enforced it a little bit mm -hmm. more because we've had friends in the Havana Cabana rooms on the Mardi Gras and we weren't go even be able to go back there with them. Right. Um, when they said, oh, let's go back. Well, they didn't let us in. They were actually quite strict with it there. Here, it just depends. It just Every once in a while, they'll do a spot check and check because I've seen them checking people, but they don't check it often. I think they're going to hopefully get more firm on that because I have heard a lot of people in the Terrazzo Cabana area discussing it. Um, and just talking about how they would, you know, they've they've mentioned it to several people now. So I yeah. think it's something that they'll maybe fix more later. I mean, they've already fixed the two doors on the two sides, so people aren't walking in that way. So the only people you're seeing walking by your patio are your neighbors to, you know, that are past your room. So we'd like your help on this one because we want this video to be helpful to everyone. If you are on the Venezia and you're in the Tabac Terrazza Cabanas, Leave us a comment of what your sale date was and if they have fixed that issue, if it's mm -hmm. totally private or if you're still dealing with a lot of people walking back there and using that. That'll help future cruisers who are looking at this video decide if this has been fixed because we don't want to just say, you know, it's like that and then act like that's how it is going to be for forever. They, they may fix that. Mm -hmm. Maybe they'll see this and fix yeah. it and maybe realize. Yeah, they'll continue to make adjustments, hopefully. Yeah, so... Uh, <laughs> That is something that we want to know. So yeah, leave a comment with your sale date and if it is fixed or not. Uh, the next thing would be larger balconies mm -hmm. with chairs and a hammock. Yeah, and I really like that. It's more of a patio type feel to it with the two lounge chairs, the table, and you have the hammock. Now the hammock I have found is a little bit tricky because it's a <laughs> bit loose is the problem. Yeah. So it sags really low. The second you get in it, it drops pretty quickly because it's close to the ground as it is. Um, so they probably just need to tighten those up a bit. So if anybody knows the person in charge, just let them know they all need to go up because all of our neighbors actually have had the exact same problem. Problem. So uh, it's hard to to use the hammock. I would use it more if it was you know a little bit more comfortable. But the chairs are so comfortable that 
it kind of doesn't matter. It is nice having that extended balcony. Part of it is on is covered and half of it is out over, uh, what would you call that? Kind of like a, a pergola type thing yeah. is on the second half. So part of it is completely covered by the balcony above and the other half is kind of like pergola open so if it rains it does get wet on that half but the back half does not get wet which is covered which is quite nice next thing i want to talk about is another really big one that i thought we would struggle with and most everyone that comments on these cabins this is their issue is the lack of privacy mm -hmm. and it is true you do have a lack of privacy but what i found out over this last eight to nine days is that that can be to your advantage even for us who are people that we like privacy just as much as the next person <laughs> but what's happened is we've realized is that through knowing who your neighbors are knowing the people basically we know who all the people are up and down this mm -hmm. this row of uh, cabanas it basically enforces them to behave better <laughs> mm -hmm. and there is no bad behavior you're not going to walk by here and see someone smoking or blaring their radio or slamming doors or yelling, playing their TV too loud because we all know who each other are. So you're treating each other with a lot more respect than you get treated with in a normal cruise balcony cabin. And we've actually heard tons of complaints on the Venezia so far from people in balconies mm -hmm. where their neighbors were just behaving badly and they're like we have none of that down here mm -hmm. because, like the slamming yeah. of the doors is yeah. the big one it is um in the regular balcony rooms because it's a door that opens and shuts uh, versus on our patios yeah. we have big sliding doors yes you can still slam those but as rob mentioned you know once you know your neighbors you're like oh hey you know and we are basically kind of know each other by names it's like a little neighborhood actually back here yeah. um and you know you can say hi to your neighbor that neighbor has seen your face they are not going to be over there you know making a ruckus and and all that kind of stuff so it is kind of nice because yeah. you do build that community to where then you're respecting each other yeah. versus like we said several people and we've heard it throughout the ship complaining about you know teenagers and kids and adults <laughs> slamming you know those balcony doors it's very frustrating especially when you're on vacation and you're trying to sleep in and people are slamming doors at six seven o'clock in the morning yeah in fact our neighbor came out the other day and said oh i'm so sorry guys i hope i didn't wake you because mm -hmm. i was trying to get my door open i woke up early because of the time change and i was trying to be as quiet as possible so i wouldn't wake you and i was like we didn't hear it <laughs> And I was like, see, that's what you get mm -hmm. when the Trotsa Cabana is you get people around you who care about you and your vacation mm -hmm. because they know you know who they are. Mm -hmm. But in the balcony over the years, we've just noticed it could be people right next to you. They don't care. They don't care what you're doing. They mm -hmm. don't care if you're trying to sleep. They don't know what you're doing. It's just so compartmentalized that it's basically an every man for himself thought process. And that can be very frustrating. So what ended up thinking that it would be a concern which was lack of privacy ended up being a positive for me and i think i would do it again over the balcony experience because i do just appreciate that courtesy and respect that comes with being in these cabins and people treating you the same way that you would treat them so it's, it's yeah it's been great no that's definitely true and the other thing too is is that people always envision oh everybody's gonna be out here all the time and it's just gonna be so loud and blah blah, blah. honestly we go out there all the time and there's no one out yeah. there many times i've gone out there just to you know just breathe some fresh air or just sit out there and read and I've looked around and I thought there's nobody sitting out right now. And this has been for like hours. I sat out there a couple hours the other day and there was no, not even a soul out there. Nobody walking by because they had locked the end doors. It was really quite nice. So it's not what it seems. I, I heard people from the balcony above like, oh, you don't have any privacy down there. It's like, well, they, they were talking, but they couldn't see me because I was down here sitting reading while they were up there on their balcony talking to their neighbor and their balcony <laughs> so i was like i'm actually quite private because you can't even see that i'm down here um which was kind of funny because they see the part with under the pergola and think 
oh, they're just, it's just open and you can see them. So it, was, it's, it's a little more private than we thought. Another thing about it is there are no children allowed in the area. Mm -hmm. So if that's what you're looking for, we had just gotten off a Virgin cruise and that's an 18 and over cruise and that was pretty nice for us. Mm -hmm. uh, so that's another, another benefit. <laughs> So let's break it down then. Is it worth the upgrade cost? What do you think to get this terrazzo for now? I would say that it is worth it, especially for the deal that we got. If you guys haven't seen our other video about how we got this room even, um, go check that out here on the channel. But I would say it was definitely worth doing the upgrade from the regular balcony that yeah. we originally had booked to paying the upgrade price to get this one. Yeah. What do you think? I think that's true. We paid, you know, $270 to upgrade from the balcony. I think that was totally worth it. Mm -hmm. If I was paying the upfront price and had to pay like a thousand more for it, it might be worth it, but I would want to check these comments and see if people have told me whether or mm -hmm. not these hot tubs are private and they've cleared that all up because if they haven't cleared that up, I would maybe hold off. Mm -hmm. uh, that, that needs to be cleared up for it to be worth that high of a premium other than that though i did love it i was afraid we would like it less than the balcony mm -hmm. that was not the case at all <laughs> if i had to choose one or the other i would definitely take this one yeah all right guys so definitely help us out in the comment section after you've been on the venezia and had the terrazza cabana room let us know what the status is of how things are looking so that when other people are looking they can see that in the comment section thank you so much for watching we've got lots more still coming from this ship we'll hope to see you soon subscribe to the channel and give us a like